Hi guys and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're looking at the Kronos L6010 or better known as the Datejust Homage. So this watch is on loan from a user over at Reddit and unfortunately I don't get to keep it uh, so I do have to send it back to him but uh, yeah I've really been enjoying my time with this one so huge thank you goes out to Mr. Elwood again. Uh, I just reviewed his Hrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
it's really not an issue in real life. Um, you know, it's got plenty of AR coating on the crystal, and I think it makes it plenty legible. Um, yeah, I've got no problems ever reading this thing, so um, just keep that in mind. But yeah, that does look really, really good. I'm going to zoom up close up here of the dial. But yeah, that, that, looks, that looks really good. What do you guys think? Now, unfortunately, this is 21 millimeter lugs, so I don't have any straps that'll fit this. So we're just going to go right back into the review. All right, so let's talk about the case finishing. So case finishing on this is done really, really nicely. It is a fully polished case, as you can see here, getting up real nice and close. It's very soft, very clean lines, really nicely done. I've seen no issues with the polishing on this thing. It's, I mean, it's just done excellent. Um, yeah, I, I've got no issues with the, the case polishing on this thing at all. Um, the case back on this. It's a solid case back, Rolex style, so it's a mixture of brushed and polished, as you can see there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I, I, there's no branding or anything on the bottom of it, which, again, is fine. I'm not a huge stickler on branding on case backs, um, but I do, I, I, I just can't get on with this uh, this Rolex style case back. Just give us a normal little notches for tools if we ever want to get in there ourselves. It's so much easier for us, and we really appreciate it. The underside of the case is a circular brushing, as you can see here. And all these edges here, they've all been honed down nicely. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very nice, very comfortable case. You can see the polished crown here. It has the Kronos kind of hourglass symbol on it. Um, I guess it's a probably a happy uh, mistake that it, it aligns perfectly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it looks really, really good. So let's talk about the bezel on this thing. So I mentioned the bezel is actually nickel. It's not stainless steel. And the reason they do that is because they can get it that much more crisp and sharp. Um, so this thing just plays with the light so much better than some of the other watches that I've had in the channel so far. And you can definitely tell a difference. I mean, it, it shines great. I believe it is platinum plated, palladium and platinum or platinum plated, I think. Um, so yeah, I think they did a really good job with it. So getting up real close, you can see, I mean, just the sharpness of it is uh, really, really good. Really, just super sharp. I mean, it's it looks awesome. It plays with the light awesome. Uh, it's just a very shiny watch, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So let's talk about the crystal. So we will test the crystal. Crystal is sapphire. Let's test these cyclops while we're here. And the Cyclops is sapphire, so that's nice to see. So the crystal is a just a flat piece of sapphire crystal that we just tested. Uh, it does sit ever so slightly above the bezel there, as you can see. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's great. Uh, I've got no complaints with it. There is some anti-reflective coating on it. Keeps the di dial nice and legible. Um, Cyclops here at the three o'clock position. Uh, I think it does a pretty good job of magnifying. It's definitely not two and a half. It's probably maybe two, uh, two X magnification. So I think they've updated the Submariners with a better Cyclops. So maybe they're going to update this one as well. I'm not sure, uh, but this one does definitely uh, sit in there nicely. Uh, it, it's pretty much spot on on the alignment. I think um, yeah, it's never bothered me. So um, yeah, it's it's pretty good. All right, so let's talk about the dial on this thing. So as you can see here and definitely out in my uh, outdoor shots, it's got a very strong sunburst on it. It's a kind of a, an electric blue. I mean, it looks it, it, it looks really, really good. It is a glossy dial. So let's see if I can show you here. There you, go. you can see the reflection of the second hand on the dial there. Um, so yeah, it is a glossy dial. You have a simple minute track printed around the outside with five minute uh, increments printed in the numerals, uh, Chronos here in white. Uh, maybe they're going to update this to add the applied logo. I, I really hope they don't because I like this better. And then you've got automatic 100 meters down here at the six o'clock position. Everything is printed uh, really nicely. I don't see anything that's out of alignment or any smudging or anything like that. It's all very crisp and clean. You have single applied batons at all the hour markers, except three o'clock, which has nothing. And then 12 o'clock has this kind of double conjoined uh, hour marker there. Uh, pretty nicely done. Finishing on them, again, I mean, I've got no problems with the finishing on them. They, they look really, really good. 
the handset really nicely sized maybe that minute hand could be a little bit longer but i'm not going to knock any points off for that uh, second hand reaches right out to the minute track minute hand is pretty darn close and then you've got that really nice capped second hand which i just absolutely love um, yeah pretty nicely done uh, the polishing on them is done really good there's no burring or anything like that that i can see under macro i, I mean the the handset on this thing is excellent the handset is loomed as you can see here as is the dial so i'm going to pop a balloon shot right now and here you can see it against a couple other watches in the collection uh, it holds its own it's not a bad loom at all but it's definitely not great loom like you see on the san martin on the left um, can't quite hang in there with the iron watch on the right either but uh, it's actually not that bad so um, pretty good for a dress watch let's talk about the movement so the movement in this one is the pt 5000 operated by this three clock screw down crown so it is a tiny little crown but there's plenty of grip on it and i haven't really had any issues with it pulling it out to the third position you can see it hacks a second hand so this is a hacking movement the first position is hand winding and then the second position changes the current or the uh, date here um, you get instant snap over at midnight and I mean, it's a, it's a PT 5000, 40 hours of power reserve, 28,800 beats per hour. Um, yeah, it, it's great. It's an Eta clone. Um, so if you ever break this, you can drop in an Eta movement or a Solita movement. Um, so yeah, it, it's a, it's a, for me, it's been great. It's been reliable. I have no problems with it. Um, the screw in screw out action of this crown is pretty nice. They, I think they have this actually spring-loaded, so usually with the PT5000 and you're screwing in the crown, you're also winding the movement, and you can feel the resistance. But on this model, once those threads engage, it's a very smooth, easy wind, and I don't hear the movement winding at all. So um, they must have this uh, crown spring-loaded, so that is nice to see. Uh, really happy with that. All right, so let's talk about the bracelet on this. So the bracelet, like I mentioned earlier, it is 21 millimeters. Uh, so that's a kind of an odd thing. Uh, it does taper down to 15 and a half at the clasp. So you got a really nice taper to it. It is on all a solid bracelet, five links. Uh, each one of these links are solid, as you can see here. I mean, it's just a really good, really nice bracelet. You can see the integration into the, the case here. Uh, just excellent. They, they did a really good job with this. It looks good. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it just looks good. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, solid end links, as you can see there. Obviously, solid links, like I mentioned. And then you've got screw pins for adjusting. I had no problems adjusting this. The brushing on the outer links done really nicely, polishing on the inner links even. I mean, these little tiny links there, uh, and they did a pretty darn good job of polishing those things too. So uh, that's pretty impressive because usually that's where companies skimp on the bracelets, even with the big wide, you know, oyster style links. Um, you can tell that they skimp on those ones. But this here, it's really hard to see that they skimped on the, the, uh, the finishing on those. So pretty nice to see that. The clasp on this, I love this clasp. I had this on my version one St. Martin, so it's just a simple uh, latch here. That's it. There's no push buttons or anything like that. It's a very secure clasp, very satisfying clicks. Um, yeah, very happy with it. It is fully milled on the inside and polished. Uh, you do have three hidden micro adjust under here. Let's see if I can show you. There you go. So right now it's on the biggest micro adjust. And you just have to extend this extension here so this does have a sweaty day extension which is nice to see so there it's closed and then you can pop it open and get another like quarter of an inch which is which is really nice especially here in florida um but yeah I'm very happy with this clasp i've got no no real issues with it other than i wish the micro adjust was exposed but just to make it a little bit easier but it's one of those things where you set it once or twice and then you're done so um yeah pretty happy with it again Finishing on the clasp is nicely done, polished in the middle there. Uh, no logo or anything like that, but you know, that's fine. I do, I do wish they would put the Kronos logo on it, but not a big deal. Uh, polished on the sides here, nice transitions from the brush to the polish there. No sharp edges or anything like that. Very happy with the clasp, very happy with the bracelet. Uh, it's not a jangly bracelet, but there's still plenty of flex in it. This, this bracelet 
and this bracelet, no surprise, are the two most comfortable bracelets I have in my watch collection. Uh, they are just, they're just so, so comfortable. Uh, absolutely love it. So there you go, guys. That is the Kronos L6010 or the Datejust Homage. Um, yeah, I think it's awesome. I really appreciate Mr. Elwood for lending me this and letting me play with it. It makes me want to get one, and I do have the Iron Watch coming in, so that'll be an interesting comparison. Hopefully I can get that in and kind of insert some of that footage in with this watch review. Um, but yeah, if not, I'll definitely draw some comparisons during the Iron Watch review. Um, but yeah, I am really happy with this watch, and I think I need one. Yeah, I think I need one. So if you guys are interested in it, I will be leaving an affiliate link down below. That's to the official Chrono store. Uh, pop it in your basket, wait for a sale, pick this up for $230, and you're going to be really, really happy. It is a great watch, and I don't think there's going to be any, any date just homage that does it any better than this one, um, especially for the price. I know San Martin has one, and I know Iron Watch has one. I, th I think they all kind of use the same case and the same bezel, um, and it's just down to the different dials. So, uh, yeah, that that's just kind of my quick take on it, and, um, yeah, that's what I think. I think this is one of the best ones. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely see how that compares to the Iron Watch in a little bit. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this watch, drop them down below. I will do my absolute best to uh, get back to you guys and answer those questions and chat with you guys. I love doing it still. I'm really having fun meeting new people and all that fun stuff. So please do drop a comment down below. Um, I think that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.